I did the scene with with Jason. We had a little fun little press run, and I don't I don't I haven't seen him since the scene. I don't know when the next time I'm going to see him is. You know, mm-hmm. it, people just can't really believe that that could be the case. It's like, yeah, oh, she's still thinking about him. She's fucking him behind Adam's back. Like everyone just makes these little backstories because it is all of their fears. Yeah, in their relationships, I think it also really pissed them off that I'm in this relationship with Adam and Adam like allowed me to go do this thing because they think in some way that I'm going to influence their wife or their girlfriend mm-hmm. to request the same thing or like I'm sort of normalizing it when I'm when I'm not really normalizing it like I'm a sex worker like mm-hmm. I, I I wanted to do more in my job or do something different in my yeah. job it's not like I was like hey Adam I want to re- open a relationship and I want you to agree with that to that to that right you know? which also too like wouldn't necessarily mean that you loved him any less no. you know I mean it's I'm in a monogamous relationship and that works for us. But I talk to tons of people who are in open relationships, polyamory. My parents were swingers. Mm-hmm. My mom was definitely the more promiscuous of them. Like my mom, <laughs> my parents used to go to like orgies together all the time. And my dad actually used and, to tell me. they were these, still together? Like I know, oh. up until your dad passed, I know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they've been together since they were like 22, like 60 years. And my mom was like always about my dad. My dad was like the one for her. Like the sex yeah, her foundation, was the sex. Her, like yeah. that, the rest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the rest of the shit didn't matter. Like he was her everything. And I and my dad used to like make jokes about it. And I remember this one story that he used to love to tell. They went to an orgy and I think my dad had a headache or something like that. So he was like downstairs and my mom was upstairs like banging a bunch of dudes. <laughs> And some guy comes down the stairs and he goes, oh, man, you got to go up there. That that woman up there, she's so fucking hot. My dad goes, yeah, it's my wife. (laughs) Okay, see, knowing this story about your parents, does it change your opinion of them to think they're bad people? No. Okay, thank you. Not at all. My parents are wonderful people. And, like, my parents were – you know, like really close. And I mean, I want to get like all whatever, but like my family's very close. And, you know, when my dad passed away, my mom was devastated. I mean, it was just like, they had such a love story. They felt, they fell in love the minute they saw each other. Like it was like an electricity. And I have like a incredible interview with my dad, like um, a couple of years before he died talking about the first time he saw my mom. And it's just like, I played it at the funeral. It was like, Oh, the whole oh place gosh. was in fucking tears. But, like, they were just meant to be together, yeah. you know? And, like, they fucked around when they were younger and they had sex with other people and they had fun and they just and did their thing. And it probably made them closer, that they were yeah. so open with each other yeah. and that they could say certain things to each other. That mo- There's, like, a big wall, I feel like, in people's relationships yes. where they're not able to admit. Like, I can admit that most men and women want to fuck other people. Yes. And, you know, they're – I'm not saying that girls are wrong for this, but like they can't handle their boyfriend like liking a photo. And so when you're comparing that to the fact that like I let my husband fuck other women in front of me, Mm -hmm. there's this big gap. And so people just really want to hate on it because they don't understand it. But like I am able to have so many real conversations with my partner and understand my partner in ways that those people don't. And I feel like that makes them really uncomfortable. Yeah, because it points to the lack of communication and insecurities in their own relationships. I mean, one thing that... I've learned from all the people I've spoken to and also like, you know, I've talked to a lot of sex therapists who have, you know, also pointed out that swingers tend to have the best communication between them because it's like they're in this position where they have this open relationship, they're having sex with other people. So they have to talk about these things, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas people in monogamous relationships, I think there's like this assumption that comes with it. Like, oh, you're going to be this way. You're only ever going to have sex with me. You're only ever going to want to have sex with me. Um, you know, and, and there's just, like, no room to discuss yeah. other things. Yeah. And I think that's, like, the most damaging. Yeah, I agree. Um, when I did the scene with Jason, you know, like, there was things that I learned about myself that I wouldn't have known until I did it, like, things mm-hmm. in my relationship. Like, I was scared for Adam to see the, any of the content, but then I was also so excited to show him. Like, mm. it turned me on to know that he was going to watch it and that it also turned him on, mm-hmm. you know? And and I don't think he really expected to be that turned on by it. Um, I don't know. I was like, oh, I kind of want to, like, see where this goes. Like, I want to explore yeah. this a little bit more because it did bring us closer. Like, we ended up having a lot more sex than we normally do in the weeks following the scene with Jason, and it wasn't, like – 
a thing where it was like Adam was trying to like take his ownership of me back or anything. Mm -hmm. It was just like we were more turned on and we wanted to fuck more. Interesting. Yeah. So do you think that you might work with other guys in the future? That is a big question mark in our relationship right now. Um, I would like to, but I want to do everything at the pace that my partner is comfortable with because right. I also just like don't want to throw seven years down the drain, you know? Yeah. Um, but I think that we're sort of going to have to figure out like the parameters, how often, um, if Adam will always be included or not. Like, I don't really know. Um, so we're still sort of in the discuss this discussion phase of that. Mm. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.